might be things in your life that are going to have to change. So many times we have mapped out uh, a way. What does the scripture say? A man devises his steps, but the... Man uh, devises his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. That's it. A man deviseth his way. <coughs> Man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. Mm -hmm. You know why I'm a scheming rascal? I'm always trying to figure out how a thing can get done or how I can accomplish certain things or how I can have or how I can get or whatever else. But you know what? I don't need to be devising a way. I need to be having God making my steps. I don't need to be scheming for a plan. But I need God to lead. You know, you need the same thing I do. You know, Fort Lauderdale Baptist Church ought to, ought to end 2010 with lost people coming to Christ. I just think that that's God's plan. And that's God's way. You know what that's going to mean? Get your hands off and let God. You ever heard the phrase, let go and let God? I know a lot of times that's an excuse for laziness. But the fact of the matter is, is that with regard to devising your way, let go and give it to the Lord. And let God provide. I can't imagine being one of these sojourners in comfort and ease, having a good position and being used to being where you're at, and being called upon to go to a place that's rubble. Jerusalem at this time is rubble. They're called to go to a place where it's not going to be comfortable, where it's going to mean sacrifice, and where probably in their lifetime it'll be similar to what's said about Abraham. In other words, he sought a country, but he never realized it in his whole lifetime. And you know that it might be that from man's perspective, you and I will be raptured or go to the grave, and we'll, we'll maybe from man's viewpoint never have seen great things. But I just want to tell you, these people that went back to Jerusalem had just, it was just the best day of their life. It's the best times. Mm -hmm. And you'll find that the days that you surrender to serve the Lord are going to be the best years of your life. You don't know how things are going to look in heaven. We know that the scripture indicates in many places that there will be individuals who were nobodies on earth. But in heaven, they're going to have, they're going to have grounds of righteousness. Mm -hmm. And that could be you, and that could be me. And our goal is not to go out and do something that demonstrates demand our greatness. But our goal is to surrender to God who already is great. Mm -hmm. And to accomplish His work. I just want to challenge you. Would you consider in your life areas that would be man devising His way rather than God directing your steps? You know what we need? We need God-given direction. Mm -hmm. How do we find that? Look at the scripture. Find out what God wants and surrender to it. That's what Cyrus did. That's what the children of Israel that went back into the promised land did. That's what those individuals that gave just to rebuild the temple did. If you do that, God will accomplish more than any one individual could ever accomplish. And it's not God's will. To, you know, God could have just had Cyrus go and build a temple. Couldn't he? Couldn't Cyrus have just gone over to Jerusalem and built a temple to the Lord? That wasn't God's plan, God's will. I want to involve more folks in that. And you know, it's not God's will for pastor to be the only soul winner in our church. Mm -hmm. It's not God's will for pastor to be the only one that preaches the gospel. I'm not saying I am at all. But you know, it's not God's plan. God's plan is for everybody to be motivated to do the work of the Lord and to do it together. How about it? Are you willing? Mm -hmm. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I ask you to help us to be willing to do the work that you've called us to do. And Lord, we look forward to great things. And God, just want to thank you for allowing us to be born in the day and age that we're born in. God, I'm, I'm thankful that you didn't have us to be trying to accomplish what we're doing today 50 years ago or 100 years from now, but that God today is the day that you've given us life and that you've given us the opportunity to serve you. And it's our prayer and our desire that you would lead us and that you would direct us. And God, more than that, it's our prayer and our desire that the areas where we would be leading and directing ourselves, you would make that very plain and apparent and allow us to be willing to surrender it to you so that we can be used by you. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.